Hooray! Finally a day off. I got to get out on the open seas. Dr. Romano couldn't be here. I'm sure of it. <sighs> Dr. Romano, is that you? No, go away. Oh, okay. I just did have a question for you, Dr. Romano. Actually, I'm studying some Latin, but if you want to see a quick organic chemistry question and then you can leave, um, come on over. Come around. Dr. So Romano, I didn't know Latin was on the dad exam. It's not. I study it for my own academic purposes, but come over here. I'll show you a quick Okay, problem. Dr. Romano. Sure. Now. Sure, Dr. Romano. Okay. You're doing it right now? Yes, indeed. Now, this is a question that the average person would have no chance to get. This is a hard question. Let me get up on so it, Dr. Romano. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to number the chain. Here, I'll hold it to help you down. I'm going to yeah. number the chain, as you can see. Yeah. And we got eight carbons. Now, this is an octanoic acid because it's eight carbons. Now, this group is a very important group for the dad. It's called oxo. But the question is, what the hell would I name a sulfur in the middle of a chain? So what I would do, um, I would call this 7-oxo-4-thia. That's a hard one. Thia because it's a sulfur. Okay. Octanoic acid. So we put it all together and we get a 7-oxo-4-thia-octanoic acid. All right, I hope that... Um, gets rid of you, and I can get back to my Latin studies and take a couple of hours off from doing some chemistry. I don't know. I just see you everywhere, Dr. Romano. Looks like the party's ready to begin. Looks I'm off. like I'm going to say good, good day to you and do some private studies. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Have a good day, Dr. Romano.